All it takes is one good deed. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 times hated anime characters redeemed themselves. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments in an anime where a character with a deplorable reputation succeeded in changing their image towards the light side. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10, Hendrickson, The Seven Deadly Sins. Conspiracy, murder, and a helping hand in bringing back the demon race into the world of the living. This druid ticked all the boxes for a fancy villain, including getting bested by the combined might of the sins. I cannot be defeated! Not by the likes of you! Turns out that even he knew he had gone too far after reviving the Ten Commandments, seeking to make up for his mistakes by helping out the rest of Britannia's noble knights against the encroaching demonic hordes. Good thing Meliodas and the gang are pretty big on the whole forgiveness thing. I heard what happened. About how you rescued little Gil Hauser and the others? Thank you for that, Hendrickson. Number 9, Manabu. Ping Pong the Animation. <laughs> Formerly known as Demon, the smart talking table tennis enthusiast was normally only good for starting fights and bringing people down. And yet, turned out to be the perfect catalyst to snap Peko out of his spiral of self-pity. Refusing to let him quit, Manabu reveals that he and everyone else from their class envied Peko's skill, and that to let it all go to waste because of a single loss was ridiculous. With insight from such an unexpected source, combined with a sudden rebirth courtesy of a dip in the river, Peko instantly gets his groove back, while Manabu hopped straight into our good books. Number 8, Laxus, Fairy Tale. It's a pretty long-standing tradition in this series for each arc's enemy to eventually come round to the side of good to help Natsu out in their next upcoming battle. But none did it flashier than Laxus. Fueled by arrogance, he nearly succeeded in bringing down all of Fairy Tale. Though, thankfully, it wasn't something a flaming fist to the face and a prolonged exile couldn't fix. This in turn made his triumphant return to save everyone from Hades and avenge his grandfather all the sweeter. <laughs> Number 7, Shinomiya, Food Wars. When you're an alumni of a prestigious cooking academy, as well as a former first seat, you're allowed to be a tad cocky. Though in Shinomiya's case, he took it a tad too far when he tried to flex his culinary chops in order to expel both Megumi and Soma. Thankfully, the purity of Megumi's cooking provided a full-on Ratatouille moment, reminding him of what he was aiming for to begin with. Ever since, Shinomiya has served as an invaluable mentor to both his young charges, elevating their skills exponentially in the process. Number 6, 
Number 6. Canute's Vinland Saga Now, this was an unexpected transformation. For the most part, the Prince of Denmark was a sheltered soul who cared not for the violent antics of other Vikings, simply content with a quiet life shared with his guardian, Ragnar. He was also something of a crybaby. <laughs> At least until Ragnar bit the big one, shipped off to Valhalla early and left him alone. In a single moment of revelation, Canut became a whole different person, determined to make paradise on Earth, give God the middle finger, and become a king like no other. <laughs> And you know what? We believe he can do it. Number 5. Magma. Dr. Stone. Turns out, even 3,000 years in the future, there are still jerks who want to invoke the might is right mentality and claim dominion over what they think they're owed. Case in point with Magma, who was so desperate to become village chief, he was even contemplating bumping off the sweet yet sickly Ruri. <laughs> That is until he got his ass whooped and his mind blown by the power of science, leading to the meat to put his trust in Senku and use his muscles to help further the restoration of the modern world. <laughs> He's got a ways to go, but every bully has a chance to make things right. Number 4. Accelerator A certain magical index franchise. When Accelerator was first introduced to the franchise, he was a murderous esper who had no qualms in killing as many Misaka clones as possible. What do you suppose would happen if I reversed your blood flow? Answer the question correctly and then you can rest in pieces. However, after being humbled courtesy of Toma's direct punch to the jaw, the ultimate Espo was placed on the road to becoming a slightly less murderous asshole. Let's see who's the stronger one now! The transition would eventually be completed when he found himself in the unexpected position of Guardian to Mitsuka clone Last Order. Talk about a complete 180. That doesn't matter what's good is good. And sitting down at the table to eat with someone else only makes it taste that much better, Misaka Misaka explains philosophically. Yeah, sure. Number 3. Mr. Satan. Dragon Ball Z. The most endearing joke character in the whole franchise, next to Yamcha, Mr. Satan made a name for himself as a competent martial artist with an ego on par with Vegeta, which of course proved to be fruitless compared to monsters like Cell and Boo. <laughs> and now for my finish! <laughs> Normally, someone like that would be reduced to atoms sooner or later, and yet the people's champion continued to thrive not only befriending the good version of Martian Boo, but rallied the entire planet together in order to assist Goku in completing his spirit bomb. Now raise up those hands and lend me that energy so I can defeat Martian Boo! <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, nothing personal. The benefits of fame, eh? <laughs> Number 2, Ken. Digimon Adventure 2. It's pretty hard to find humbleness after spending the majority of the series as a self-titled dictator obsessed with enslaving all Digimon. Their 
there he is. You're gonna get it. <laughs> oh, I am so scared. Of course, for all his hubris, at the end of the day, Ken was just a human kid like the rest of the Digi-Destined. And thus, his world shattered when Wimmon was deleted because of his selfish actions. <clears throat> Wormmon, no! He's gone, Ken. The shock of losing his only friend turned out to be the wake-up call he needed, allowing him to find the humanity in his heart after realizing what he had truly lost. I won't make any excuses, and I'm sorry for what I've done. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Endeavor. My Hero Academia. From day one, this veteran hero was introduced as a man who would do anything to make it to number one, even going as far as to abuse his family and drive his wife to a mental breakdown. <laughs> it's pretty hard to come back from that after you've demonstrated yourself as the lowest of low. And yet, somehow, All Might's replacement has taken one hell of a first step. Not only has he made the awkward and painful attempt at trying to reconnect with his family, but his battle with High End proved that he was capable of acting like a true hero, shining like a supernova and protecting the innocence he was now entrusted with. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.